Loneliness is the poison that gets sweeter the more you get a taste of it. At the start, it's bitter and unpleasant, but then gets bearable and even comforting. Yet it kills you gradually with a potent toxicity. Many people have warned us about the dangers of this poison. Loneliness and the feeling of being unwanted is the most terrible poverty. The eternal quest of the human being is to shatter his loneliness. Is loneliness then an inherent human quality? There is no need to answer the question of if, because any and every human being is heavily susceptible to loneliness and has already or will surely experience it. But what of its consequences? What could be the antidote to such a strong and persistent pestilence? Let's examine those questions in terms of berserk and one of the loneliest and probably most relatable in that aspect of characters. Guts. Why Guts is us. If you would care to do so, you can personally leave a comment why you identify with Guts's experiences and Guts himself. Guts represents a lot of masculine features which I think men naturally admire. Strength, overcoming adversity, protecting and taking care of others, or maybe even pure show of power and fluidity in action though many also find themselves relating to his struggles. Sleep deprived and haunted by the worst of enemies, yet he pushes on with such resilience and relentlessness that he isn't perceived as much as human anymore. Above all, I think, especially in our modern age, is his loneliness that we find very familiar. How can one guy deal with such intense loneliness and suffering like that and still struggle on? Life is suffering. It's partly because of this that the great religions are focused on producing people who can withstand suffering, states Jordan Peterson. However, at the end of the day, I can confidently say that Guts during the Black Swordsman arc was not a good role model. A very self-destructive personage, which unfortunately often gets looked up to. His path was that of a death of the body and psyche. Berserk is not about staying in a frenzy, but rather trying to get out of it. Alcoholic Loneliness The lonelier the person, the more he is high on his own loneliness. This person thinks of himself as unmanageable and ruined. Guts being chased by monsters at night could be seen as symbolism for his troubles. Whatever the cause of these demons, they will appear and haunt. And we should definitely not underestimate the grade to which all people have to cope with such mental entities that never vanish. The harder one fights them, the more exhausted one gets. They don't disappear. The sacrificial brand is a distinctive mark of being human. We are condemned to suffer. Unfortunately, many surrender under the darkness which is brought upon us by the mark. Alcohol, drugs and extreme pleasures are used as a filler to a hole that is just larger and deeper than what those objects can fill. Those habits could very much be yours, but they just flow out of the hole and the hedonistic practice has to be started anew the next day. Guts, on the other hand, is initially one of those who find it easier to bear the heavy weight of their troubles in deep loneliness. In the past, people thought to be a home of demons were exiled and persecuted. Witches and witchers, possessed and types of evil incarnate. 
Guts treated himself the same, and in the Black Swordsman arc he was pursued by others as well. Danger for others and Harbinger of evil was the label that was put onto such people. Well then, if I am not accepted from anywhere in this world, what have I done wrong? Have I let my demons grow bigger and more impatient? Have I not resolved the imminent cause of those troubles? Have I delved too deep in that poison, called loneliness, to such a degree that I have changed innerly and outwardly? That's why the phrase, you look lonely, from Blade Runner 2049 is fairly popular in core core videos. Loneliness seeps through the skin, its toxicity is noticeable after enough time of exposure. Lone Sheep Loneliness adds beauty to life. It puts a special burn on sunsets and makes night air smell better. Being alone, often in critical thought, is an essential part of growing as a person. And though loneliness does amplify the feeling of many other experiences, it is just a precursor to happiness and connection, and not the end goal. Humans have developed an inherent quality to live and connect with other people. We have evolutionarily found our way to survive in the wild, and that is in groups. The mind starts training itself once the body and the senses are isolated from social connection. Guts would have felt a couple of times more better if he had stayed around his people, though he chose to leave and his severe loneliness let his sadness and sense of emptiness multiply. Furthermore, Guts' desire for revenge arguably irrationally sharpened during his lonely days which he spent hunting for apostles. You, quite frankly, become a coward in your loneliness. It starts to pull you ever further down. Anyone who feels lonely is not a lonely wolf but a lonely sheep which needs to find the correct path back to its herd where one can find love and happiness once again. If you, dear viewer, are indeed looking lonely and think that someone should fix that, think again, it is your battle to return to your place amongst people and hopefully stronger than before with more trust and love for others. As Guts himself finally did, you just need to find the right people and believe me, they are waiting for you.